When the Buddha was alive, he didn't have big temple, maybe one or two by disciples built, but not just an empty temple everywhere. And when Jesus was alive, he, he didn't even have shoes. Yeah? He had to hide everywhere all the time. He worried people would catch him. He could not even stay in one place sometimes. He said, the son of God doesn't have anywhere to lay his head. And then after he died, look at how many churches we have. Yes. Empty, some empty, some big and empty. Cost a lot of money. Huh? If they don't need it, they could give it to us, you know. <laughs> Sharing is believing, no? <laughs> and we would repair it, huh? Yeah. We pay for electricity, <laughs> water, yeah, and food. And we repair. That's the best way to use a church, right? Go and pray to God, meditate for mankind, no? As long as the people can gather together. I don't care. I don't need churches. Actually, just need people to leave us in peace, that's all. I can pay for a church. I can pay for a place. It's just so... Just leave us, that's all. We don't even need anything, yeah? We don't even need luxury place or... Just decent, clean, yeah? And uh, next to the sea, if possible. <laughs> well, we don't ask for much, just the sea. <laughs> the sea is normally free of charge, right? Or next to the lake is already better than nothing. <laughs> but mostly, places like that are already occupied. You can't expand anymore. You can't make it big. You don't have enough room to run around. So it's just squeezing. But it's fine, you know? We have room inside. Yeah? Yes. Right now, we're okay, huh? Yes. Uh, I asked if we can make a market like this, and uh, you told me no. Somebody told me no, and now how do we have it? Huh? Is it allowed? Yes, Master. He told me, he asked you or something, and said, cannot put up a market. They told us if it's only for a few days, uh -huh, okay. it's okay, and yeah. talk to my, uh, to the neighbors and uh -huh. tell them that you ha you're having a party. Yeah, okay. And that's okay. All right, that's it. I thought that would be okay. I mean, what's harm on my kids that's just for a few days, right? It's plastic anyway, yeah? yeah? Anybody can take it away in no time, huh? So it's good, huh? After a few days, we take it away and it's fine, yeah? And we just try not to disturb neighbors. Don't go over there and tease their dogs or something, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Pull the tails or, huh? <laughs> no, huh? No. Okay. Then just enjoy, yeah? It's also fine. We come now and again, it's fine, hey? Hey, no need to always stick together and get on each other's nerves. <laughs> huh? Suppose we stay together too long. What we do? Every day sit here staring like that? <laughs> <laughs> Eat and go sit and then stare again? <laughs> wow, it's nice to sit outside. It's cool. You feel good? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I feel more like a human after a bath. <laughs> after a shower, I feel more human, you know? See, it's cool, eh? It's not bad. Just uh, the reason I was thinking I didn't want to expand or look anymore because I thought it's also far away, you know? They have to change airplanes, right? Just hmm? once. Once? I changed the uh, tries <laughs> and still couldn't go. <laughs> many uh, trains and many taxis. Even from the airport, from that last airport to the train station, I had to change another taxi because that guy didn't know the city. So I changed to another driver, and he said, oh, it's too near, I don't want to take you. You know, no money. <laughs> I said, don't worry, just tell me how much, I will make it up for you, like a long distance. So he said, okay then. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I speak their language all the time. <laughs> I speak many languages. Any country, I speak just exactly that language. <laughs> Yeah, three different countries. All the taxi drivers understand me. <laughs> yeah, even though their English very little, but they understand. <laughs> International language. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they're working hard for it. You must understand, yeah. taxi drivers. Sometimes they have to stay in the airport for many hours to wait for the plane to come. And in queue, like first come, and take the customers. And sometimes the, the plane doesn't even arrive like yesterday. <laughs> and they wait all day for nothing. Yeah. yeah, this is a problem. They take only one customer and then just a few meters and come back. Then they have to wait uh, behind in the queue again. Yeah. Yeah. So many hours until the next airplane comes. 
Do you understand me? Yeah. And not everybody takes a taxi. Sometimes it's a rainy day or somehow some day it's just good. Some day I see taxi just hanging there all day and they wait many hours for one customer. And they have to pay tax, they have to pay petrol, they have to pay car, they have to pay their children and their wife at home, of course. So anyway, you have to understand that, huh? So it's not like I try to bribe them or anything, but I just also understand their situation. I, I sympathize with them anyway, so they normally don't need to ask me. I would give them a lot anyway, yeah. But I was thinking so far, you know, like it's not like at the main airport and all that. But if you buy some place like this in Vienna, I don't know if you can. And also in Vienna, it's maybe squeezy, huh? Here is fresh. Yeah. He's really relaxed. Yeah. People come here just to relax. Yeah. There's nothing much to do. There's, you can't help but relax here. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> huh? And not many cars, so you have to walk anywhere. It's good, so. Exercise, yeah? People love to do that. You know, on the train, I met many couples. They just save money for one month and one month or something just to go on holiday for three days in one of the places in Austria, like one of the Bad, they call it, or one of the Z, like the lake. Yeah. And they just go there. They just walk in the mountains together and stay in a hotel, and then, and then they go home. Ah, it's a very good mentality. They know how to live. They don't just get money put in bucket. They just uh, save it, go a few days, take a walk together on a mountain or in the forest. Or ski, walking, you know, and then go home. Can you believe that? Yeah. Just that. Yeah, a few days. They say they need it, otherwise they go kaput. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here is like that also. You come sometimes, relax, also fine. So I want you to also have like a holiday, yeah? yeah. Not to come just to stare at one woman all day. It's so boring. <laughs> No matter how many clothes he changes, he's the same. <laughs> just gets older every day. <laughs> Lipstick or not, the same, you know, just older. So here is the holiday place, you see? Yeah. So if you walk around, you blend in. See? No problem. Some places we cannot walk around. You know what I mean? Yeah. But here it's okay, nobody cares. Even winter, okay. If you can bear the cold, sometimes in winter we could come here and also have holiday, even... Less people. Snow, but it's okay. This hotel is equipped for winter, even. Because the owner, she lived here all year round. Many years. So it must be warm enough for her. And perhaps now and again, she caught a few fish in winter, you know? <laughs> the one who comes to walk around the mountain. There's a ski resort nearby. And there is a thermal bath, you know, warm bath coming soon somewhere and they're going to, to run it into a channel somewhere, then you can have a warm bath, a natural. I heard like that. Or maybe she just advertised so that I get the hotel. <laughs> I haven't seen that warm thing anywhere yet. <laughs> I said, where is it? Can we see it? She said, no, I mean, it's uh, somewhere people have to <laughs> <laughs> like develop it. Probably have to dig it or something, make it more usable for people, no? maybe it's in the wild or something, covered. No? There's another sea nearby, walking distance, maybe 20 minutes, smaller sea, and everybody has a, a trailer, yeah, or they bring the trailer there, or they rent a trailer. So if uh, you don't feel like this place is too squeezy, you can go over there and rent a trailer, and then run back here every meal, or when you hear the gong, bell, bong, you run back. <laughs> <laughs> and meditation. <laughs> that night, run back there to sleep. Yeah, have your own freedom. Very cheap, actually. It's not very expensive here, you know? Not expensive in this place. This uh, used to be like bed and breakfast. Only, yeah. And only one lady ran it. Can you believe it? The owner. And one cleaner. Wow. That's it. So many years, and she was an elderly lady. Oh, if you say you're working hard, shame on you, really. <laughs> when you see other people work, you feel we're not doing much, you know? Yeah. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> Stara? Okay. Yeah. We can sing a song like, Starry, Starry Night. 
staring. <laughs> staring at people. Not starry, but starry. <laughs> staring. <laughs> okay, now you do what you want, okay? Uh, until 8 o'clock, yeah? I'll see you later. 8 or 8.30 better? You know what? Maybe daytime, what else to do? A nighttime meditate? <laughs> daytime, what to do? Meditate. No, daytime. When it's hot, go swim. Okay. Yeah? Okay, okay. Huh? But we can do that. We can arrange that, okay? Like at noon or between. Or what time you eat morning? Ten. Ten? Eight to ten, okay. And after that, you walk around a bit, eleven to two. Yeah, two, three hours, each one different places. And yeah, sometimes. Sometimes if you want to swim, you ask people, can we go and swim there? And we pay a little money or not, you know? It cannot be that much, maybe $5, $2, yeah? Okay. Uh, because cannot all go in there, you know? It's also a small beach, yeah? Or maybe you talk to that beach, okay? You show them where, huh? Yeah. If, if you want to go, you have to ask her. Huh? It's okay. Okay, you just go. There's a street in front of us here. Just go a little bit further, turn the left, and maybe three... Three, four minutes. But you have to know which one because they all look. Uh, don't just go in anywhere, okay? So um, maybe we put a ribbon or something there so they know something and tell the owner first that there may be a group of very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> unruly and <laughs> happy-go-lucky, <laughs> silly faces, silly-looking people coming <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> And if he think uh, we should pay something more, then uh, just tell me, okay? Just tell them because sometimes they come a lot, yeah, they take turns, you know? I don't know if uh, he has a limit or not, yeah? To tell us and maybe we can arrange something, okay? But we don't always use it every day or every month even. We haven't used it since uh, last uh, October, September, whatever, yeah? Uh, mostly they don't count those times because winter they close around here, you know? Not every hotel open, mostly close, close, close. Yeah. Beach and everything. In winter, people don't come to swim anyway. Yeah. So actually, we pay for the whole year, but we don't use that much, you know. Only use this time, and we don't know how much longer we use the hotel. Tell him that, and if he thinks we use too much or something, after a while, you know, just tell us. Yeah? Yeah. All look very silly. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> they all look like twins. <laughs> Men and women look very similar. <laughs> you can recognize them by the face. Very <laughs> face. Okay, guys. Yeah. I have fun. As many as you can downstairs, it's cooler, yeah? No, no, not now, but I mean, when, when you you do your praying, yeah. as many as you can downstairs, in the corridor and all that, but just let people have a way to walk, yeah? See, as many as you can downstairs, it's cooler, no? Yeah. yeah. Upstairs, it's a little bit hot, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. Try to find an empty space. <laughs> but we're happy, no? Yes. Any complaints? No. I told you what to do already with the complaints. <laughs> uh, you write it down, and then you read it yourself, and then you go and put it in garbage can. <laughs> What's the hand doing? I thought somebody wanted to talk. We'll talk, it's fine. Talk later. Later I will, I will let you talk, okay? I better have some good talk. Huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you.